PeepsTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete and Peeps Tools. Great to see you here again this time around. Hey, I've had a few emails from you fellas. You're MIG welder. You're having trouble with your drive rollers, your, your wire tension and that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd do a quick video and show you fellas how I set up mine and look for a few little tips and tricks. Might help you out a little bit. And try and keep your liner a little bit cleaner, you know, because there's nothing worse than the shit coming off your roll and going into your liner and it just buggers up your welding. Something's chronic. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com. And let's get into it, eh? So the first thing I'll be doing guys, see all this crap in here, can you, can you see all this dust and, and crap and shit? All that's coming off the wire here, you see that there guys? See all those little bits of wire filings there, that's all coming off this wire guys. And as it goes through here, and it goes through your rollers, it's spraying this crap all over the place. And what it does, is it picks it up on the wire and it drags it into your liner. And that's where you have all sorts of issues, because you start getting your wire stuck in your liner and all sorts of other stuff. So the first thing I do now is just blow this out with air. See how much stuff flew off there guys and they haven't been using this very much lately either uh, if you use it every day and you use a little, run a lot of wire through it there's all sorts of build up on here and like i say you wouldn't think so but it gets dragged into your liner so what else you need to check guys is the tension here that the top roller is pushing on your bottom roller so you need to check the tension on that now i've got another video on that on how to set this tension properly i'll put a link in the description below so go and check that one out as well but uh, i'll just do the main issues that i had on this video guys now if you watch my video on the tension of your roller and it still doesn't work, try this. Undo it like so, and then a lot of these welders here, well mine does anyway, a lot of them have reversible drive rollers, like this one here, this is a reversible drive roller. See, and also guys, make sure that you're running the correct drive roller size for the size of wire you, you're running through it. See, this is one millimeter wire, so I'm running like, I will run between 0.8 and one millimeter through this roller and it still seems to clamp down tight enough rather than squash the wire but I mean if you're running like if you've got a like a 1.6 drive roller on here and you're trying to run one millimeter wire it isn't going to work you're going to have all sorts of issues it's going to bird's nest and do all sorts of horrible stuff to your welding so what we need to do guys is swap this out so just pull it out like so and as you can see it's on a key see we're on a key here and this is a double-sided one see that guys see how this is a double-sided drive roller guys this is 0.8 on this side, and we've got one millimeter on this side here. So pick whatever groove you need that's closest to your wire size, that's all I'm saying. But like I said, some of them have got the same groove on both sides, and some of them have only got one groove in them. I think it just depends on what sort of model of welder you have. So when you have this out, guys, make sure that it still like has a V in there where it can still grab the wire. Because after you've done a few hours on these things, then they actually wear out and it doesn't grab the wire anymore it just seems to slip over the top of it all the time so there's another thing to check guys so we just slip in back on there over the key like so make sure you pull your wire up over the top of it as well the, and what when we put this back on here guys the back groove is the one that's going to go into your wire like it's always so if i take that off and turn it around then the front groove is going to go onto the wire so it's always the back groove that's going to run into your wire just put our retaining cap back on guys so that's another thing to check just make sure that your drive rollers haven't worn out now if you're still having no luck driving the wire through there guys and it's still slipping and it's doing all sorts of horrible things but the only thing left is the liner um, I've actually got another video on how to clean your liner and how to take your liner out of your torch so um, I'll put that in the description down below as well you fellas go and check that out but um, it might end up having to replace the liner, but they're only about 12 bucks or something anyway, they're not very expensive. But you'd be amazed at the difference that a, a good liner can make in your welding, and it stops all this from, from slipping. But the main thing that I find anyway, is that if we could stop half the shit getting into the liner, we wouldn't have these troubles at all. Because the shit coming off the wire is also wearing out your drive rolls, and it's wearing out your liner. So I've just got this little hack that I do to stop the stuff from coming from the wire, all the dust and the grit, before it gets into my liner. So what I do guys, try and keep this mechanism a little bit cleaner and to stop all the crap going in the line, is you grab a piece of wire like so and pull it out like that, but don't hold it with this hand so it doesn't unravel. 
it might be a bit of a trick to do it with one hand. Get yourself an old piece of cloth like so, an old towel or something. Cut a little bit out of it, like so. Wrap it around. I mean, you can buy these little filter things that go on your wire, but they charge you money and you just make one yourself. What I do anyway, because I'm cheap as chips, Pete, you know me. Grab a bit of tape. Round it like so. Just a bit of tape. As you can see, that slide up and down there, no worries at all. And then what else I do, guys, is this. Grab yourself some penetrating oil or something like that. And what the oil does is I'll spray it on here. And it doesn't really make your wire smoky because by the time it gets out of your torch, most of it's gone anyway. So what it does, it picks up all the dust off the wire and the oil sort of traps it into the cloth. And um, that way you only get quarter of the amount of shit in here. And then just go like this, guys. Stick them in there like so. What I do now, guys, is grab another bit of tape. Stick it on the end of the cloth. And then just tape it to the end where your wire goes into your MIG welder roller mechanism. And all that does is it just stops the, the cloth from working its way into your rollers and it just it just leaves it there and the wire has to run through it, if you know what I'm saying. Now you have to do this every time you change the coil of wire, of course. But I mean, I'm using a 15 kg roller wire, so, you know. So there we are like that. See that like that there, guys? Coming out there, through a little bit of cloth in there, and what that's doing now is it's wiping the wire as it's going in here. Uh, and where, if you do this, guys, don't get a towel. It's got all sorts of bits coming off it, bits of cotton. Get a quite a solid piece of material, and absorbent as well would be better. Oh there, guys, let's kick it in the gut, see if it works. Here we have our torch here, guys. So we'll see if it works. Beautiful. It's really smooth. It feels really nice. See how we've got our wiper here, wiping our wire as it's going through. See that guys, it's wiping it as it's going through, it's working really good. So guys, hope those little tips might help you out if you've got feed wire issues. So guys, that's about it for the day. You like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at PeteStools.com. Remember to check every week for what I found at the dump lately. And we'll see you next time guys. Bye. PeachTools.com Don't forget guys, like and subscribe to Peach Tools. Yeah! PeachTools.com PeachTools.com